Hello, if you're watching this video, it must mean that you have downloaded or will be about to download this mod, which is Agents Agriculture, which I've made myself, as you can see. Uh, oh, God, Agent W, there. Right, so uh, this is going to be a series of videos designed to help people learn about my mods and, you, you know, know how to use it. Because two people have made mod reviews, thank you, those two people, Mr. Slimer and... Uh, that video guy, I do believe. That video maker guy, I think. Or video maker guy. One of them, three. So, um, yeah. And they've got a bit confused with how to use it. So this series of videos will be designed on, you know, to help people with um, doing everything in the mod. I'll try to cover as much as can. Hopefully all of it. Otherwise I'll have to do retakes, which will be a pain in the ass. However, um, so yeah, this one's, this first episode is going to be designed to help you with things that generate in the world and that can be where to, where you can find them and etc. So uh, let's begin. So uh, we'll start with the trees and then move on to things. Uh, now there are five trees: lemon, orange, cherry, chicle, which is an ancient Egyptian tree or fruit that used to, that is used to be made into bubble gum. Uh, now if we plant these, these are what all the saplings look like. Uh, and then the lemon. And in the mod, there are only a, um, you can't use bone meal on the trees. You can only use this thing called plant fertilizer, which I added so that it's just easier. And if you get four dirt, two ash, and two bone meal. Ash is made by smelting oak, or I think it's any other wood, uh, planks in the, um, smeltery thingy. So yeah. And plant fertilizer, when you right click, if I go into GM, GM zero, um, if you right click, it does it in one and it takes one out of your inventory. It doesn't take three or four goes, sometimes five or six, whatever. That normal Minecraft has it that makes it so you have to do. So, pretty simple. And then we, the first tree we have is olive. Now, this, you know what olive is, it's a thingy. The salty fruit, or whatever, and this generates in deserts and forests. No, not forests, deserts and plains. But it's quite rare in plains, as you can see. I'm in a plains, and there's no olives whatsoever. Um, actually, I might be in extreme hills. I don't know. Plains. No, I am in plains, and there aren't any olives. But it's really easy to find in deserts, and you can see it easily because it's green. Uh, and when you destroy the leaves, you get loads of olives, and occasionally a olive sapling, which hopefully should drop now if it likes me. Otherwise, we'll be here a bit. Um, there we go, olive sapling. Now let me just turn this down. It's in the last one. There we go. So olive tree sapling. And you can just grow those as normal as you saw a minute ago. Now, chicle can actually destroy it, which is fantastic. Um, give me one. Uh, chicle is a. I explained before what it was, but this doesn't generate. It can only be made with crossbreed or DNA, made with DNA, uh, which I will explain later on uh, in a different video for DNA. Anyway. So when you destroy the leaves, you get trickle saplings, which I've already got there, and oh, another one. Uh, and when, even though you can see it on the texture, there we go, trickle fruits. I did. I probably could, should have. I mean, I probably had some, but I didn't see them. So trickle fruits, and they the, they used to make bubble gum, as I said previously. So this is a cherry tree. This spawns in uh, forests, I think, just forests. Uh, drops cherries and cherry saplings. Uh, it's a nice pink colour, which is good for decoration. Uh, or I think, anyway. So, next one. Orange. These generate in extreme hills, plains and forests. So do lemons. Uh, they are pretty much the same, except that one drops orange, one drops lemon. It's a... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Olive tree drops a... Um, it's about... It's around an 80-90% chance of dropping an olive per leaf. Uh... Chicle, around a 50-40% chance. Cherry, around a 60% chance or 50% chance. Uh, orange tree, around a 20 or 30% chance. And this one, around 20%. Uh, oranges are slightly easier to get than lemons. Uh, and you get saplings the same rate, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, so if we keep destroying. 
There we go. This is going swimmingly. Right, so, and then it's already destroyed it itself. Orange tree sapling and oranges. So, that's how to do that. Because, for some reason, Mr. Slime got a bit confused. Now, the planks. Chickle. Um, not Mr. Slime. Whatever. Chickle. Now, this is what chickle wood looks like. It's got an orange in the middle. It's a bit white on the outside, as you can see there. Um, but because of shades, you can't. Uh, the planks are dark, even though it's pinky in the middle. Don't ask. It's how it works. Olive, white, and it's got white planks. Um, lemon, dark, dark in the middle, ready in the middle. And it's got um, like a, that colour. Uh, or uh, cherry, it's pinky and a bit red because it's cherry. Uh, as some of you might know from Tech It Off Middle East. Orange, um, little little bit greeny on the outside but that's what it's like and orangey so they're the planks now we'll move on to uh, thing the blocks that generate there's only three two of them are pretty much the same uh, first one is salty sand it generates in um, it generates in beaches uh, and it's really easy to find uh, because it's just sand uh, you'll the way you can tell is because it's got um, little white bits which is salt and when you destroy it, you get between three and four salt, maybe five. Mm, I think it's just three and four. Yeah, pretty much just three and four. And uh, so yeah, and that's uh, salty sand. So next one is truffles. Now these are a French delicacy, and they are extremely rare in France. They're worth about ten thousand dollars per kilogram of truffle. They're extremely rare. So since you're Minecraft, they're extremely rare here as well surprisingly in forests which is the only place you find them you usually find them under oak trees but not in this game uh, they generate between over level 50 or over level 40 um, and there is a one percent chance of finding black truffles which give you inv invisibility for around six minutes or eight minutes and heals all of your hearts which i'll demonstrate in a second and um, next one white truffle which has a half percent chance of finding it in forest uh, so if we eat a right truffle, thanks, thanks for helping me demonstrate that. However, it, it, I will fix that bug. Note to self, to fix that, but it should heal your um your food, your yeah, your main hearts there above this where I'm scrolling. So, next ones. These are plants that generate in the world everywhere. These are just like grass, just a bit different. This one is Hordium, which is the genus for barley and cotton, pl uh, co uh, rice plants. And so when you destroy it, you get barley and rice seeds. Uh, it's easier to get barley than rice. I think it's a 75% to get a barley and a 25 to get a rice. Um, so yeah, and they generate in plains and forests. Next one is Solanum which is the genus for tomato seeds as you can see you've got some tomato seeds uh yeah i don't really know need to uh, yeah but um and they generate in forests and jungles so the next one got sepium gives you cotton seeds simple they generate in plains and forests next one strawberry these generate in forests and plains uh, next one, bell peppers. These generate in jungles and forests. Uh, now these two are very rare. Uh, cannabis, which generates in jungles, just jungles, and it, and it is a it's a very low chance of getting it. Next one, tobacco. Yes, it does have pink flowers. You check it up. Uh, tobacco seeds. They just also spawn in jungles, but they're uh, slightly easier to find than cannabis. Corn. This generates in swamps, and you get loads of seeds per plant or whatever. Uh, so lettuce, these generate in plains and forests. Uh, the last one, no, second to last one, onions. These generate in, as you can see, I got onions. They generate in plains and forests and jungles. But they're easier to find in forests than anywhere. And swamps, actually. And they're a bit easy to find in there as well. Next one, pepper. It's the only one that drops its actual fruit or proper drop, pepper. Um, 
it's so simple. And peppercorns, which can be used to grow it over there, which I'll cover in the next episode. But, yeah. So, the pepper generates in plains and forests, I do believe. And the very last plant, and the very last thing to cover in this video, is seaweed. It generates in oceans. Hint in the word sea. This is actually a uh, lake, so it won't work. But you can plant them back after you harvested them by just pl placing them on a block like that. And when you walk into them, you go very slowly, like similar to um, cobwebs. So yeah, and if you dry seaweed by cooking it in a furnace, then you get dry seaweed, you make it into sushi, and it's all good. So, this has been it for this section of the mod. Uh, so hope you enjoy download it if you can like subscribe favorite whatever get it re updates on the mod and the rest of the series so i will see you in the next episode hopefully and goodbye